This is our first uh, live video for Supper at the Family Table. So we're excited and let me know if you're on here. We're going to be making turkey burger bowls. They're so yummy. They're one of our favorites and they're super easy to make. They're perfect for a weeknight meal. So, and it's not telling me who's on. Okay, so I already have the sweet potatoes in the oven because they take a little bit of time. So I seasoned them with garlic powder, chili powder, and parsley, salt, and pepper. Drizzled them with a little bit of avocado oil and I'm roasting them. It takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how hot your oven is, uh, at about 400 degrees. So now we're gonna work on the turkey burger mixture. Uh, we'll give people a few more minutes to hop on here and see if they're going I hope you're having a good day and I hope you're doing this. All right, so I'm gonna grab my ground turkey. I'm gonna go over here. You can use something else if you wanna use ground beef or something else, but we like ground turkey. So, I'm gonna add my, I've got one pound of ground turkey to a pan. I'm just gonna turn that over about medium heat. And then we're going to, to wash my hands real quick. All right, now let's season it with some salt. And some pepper. And just drizzle your pan with a little bit of oil. I'm going to use avocado oil. And now we're going to break it up and start cooking it just until it's all browned. So this will take um, maybe about seven or eight minutes. So we're just gonna cook that. And on top, we're gonna do a burger sauce, a homemade burger sauce, which is so yummy. Um, so we'll go ahead and start working on that in a minute. We also like to top ours with black beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat some of those up. You can just use uh, canned black beans and heat them. Or we also really like to make black beans in our Instant Pot, super easy. And you can have a bunch made up for the week. So we just have some that we've made here, and I'm going to heat them. All right. Now let's check on our sweet potatoes. And they are looking good. They'll be done for us by the time we need them. Now let's make the sauce. Okay, so first for the sauce, I'm going to use some yogurt. Greek yogurt works. Uh, this is just our homemade yogurt. But you could use sour cream if you wanted to. That works great too. Whatever you have on hand. And you're just going to need about a fourth of a cup of whatever you choose. If you're here, hope you're having a good day and enjoying the video. All right, so now after we do that, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of ketchup and just keep a check on your keep a check on my turkey burger so it doesn't burn, just gets all brown. Now we're going to add our ketchup. Oh. Now we're going to add mustard, about one and a half <laughs> tablespoons of Dijon mustard or brown mustard, whatever you like. You could even use yellow mustard if you wanted to, but Dijon or brown um, are my favorites. So we're going to add about a tablespoon and a half of that. All right. 
Okay, now we're going to add about one to two teaspoons of dill pickle brine. So, grab my teaspoon here. There we go. And check on the burger that's getting done for us. Looking good. Smelling delicious. It smells so good in here. I can't wait to eat it. All right, so we're going to add... two teaspoons of that. You could um, do like a sweet pickle brine if that's what you like, but we love dill pickles, so that's what I'm doing. And now we're going to add a half a teaspoon, I guess that, of chili powder, which has a nice a little bit of smoky flavor to it. And we're going to mix that up. This sauce is so yummy. It's delicious on top of them. Really makes the dish. All right. Looks good. Mmm, it looks so yummy. Can't wait to eat that on there. And now we're going to go back and check our um, stuff over here. So, our turkey bird is looking good. Um, and again, if you don't like turkey burger, you can do another burger. We just like turkey burger because it's nice and low fat. Um, and so we use a lot of it. But you could use ground beef if you wanted. And our black beans are heating up nicely. So if you have any suggestions or things you want to see for our next live, let me know. I'd be happy to take suggestions. I'll be happy to answer any questions you all have. If you have any, let me know. If you would, share this so other people can see it, maybe. Thank you. All right. This is looking so good. Our house smells so yummy. I can't wait to eat it. Just make sure that you're breaking this up as it cooks so that it's nice and um, in small bits. You don't want it to be in big clumps. So just keep working on that. And it's looking good. Now for our base, we're going to use spinach as the bottom, as the base of the bowl. You can use um, romaine if you like, or some kind of lettuce, but I love spinach. It tastes so good, and it has so many good nutrients in there. So that's what we're going to use, but again, totally you can be flexible and use whatever you have and that you like. So we're almost ready to build the bowls. This is almost done. Almost there. Super yummy. Okay, let's check on these sweet potatoes that are in the oven. Um, they've just been baking. They've probably been baking for about 15 or 20 minutes now. Um, and it takes about, usually around 20 to 25. All ovens run a little different, so just check on them. These are just about done. You don't want to do any mush, just tender. Uh, if you don't like sweet potato or you don't have any, you could also use um, like a butternut squash would be really good in here. That would be super yummy as well. So, that could work. Just use whatever. Alright. So, we're going gonna to turn the beans off. Those are done. Nice and hot. We love black beans in so many things, but if you don't like them, you can just leave them out. All right, it's just about done. Now I'm going to grab a bowl. up here. This is 
super quick. It doesn't take very long at all. The longest part is the sweet potatoes. This is super great if you are busy on weeknights or anytime and just want a quick meal. So yummy and quick and healthy, so it's really great. Alright, now, I'm going to grab my spinach real fast. Alright, got my spinach, it's almost ready. and brown and roasted and they're tender. Super yummy. I love sweet potatoes. The chili powder gives them a nice kind of smoky kick too. It's really yummy. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this off and we're gonna build our bowl. Yay! Um, so I'm gonna first, I'm gonna move you back over here. And then I'm gonna add my spinach to a bowl. Um, you need about five to six cups of spinach total. I put about a cup in the bottom of the bowl, of each bowl, and I just build each bowl at a time, so everybody can build their own. You can make all the components, everybody can build their own, or you can just build them single, in single servings. So, now, I'm going to add my, first I add my turkey burger to the bowl, and so I'm just going to add that on there as my first layer. And then I'm going to add the black beans. You want to drain the juice out of your black beans, too. You just want the beans, not the juice. All right, and now I'm going to add the yummy sweet potatoes. Mm, this looks amazing. So colorful. Let's see. Can you see that? Okay, there we go. Such a colorful, bright, fresh dish. And now let's add our, so, you see that? Okay, now we're going to add our burger sauce. So drizzle that around. And I'm going to top mine with blue cheese. We really love blue cheese, but if you don't like blue cheese, you can totally just leave this off. And you could use another cheese or no cheese at all. It's totally up to you and what you like. Oh, it looks so yummy. I can't wait to try it. It's one of our favorites. It's so delicious. All right, let's try this. It's so good. I love it. It's delicious. Um, I'm so glad you all joined us, and I hope you'll join us again. If you have any suggestions or questions, leave them in the comments below. And I hope you'll try this yummy dish.